boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is Sophia the First, A Royal Mouse in the House. The day of the pet talent show had finally arrived. Students from Royal Prep line up on the palace grounds to sign in. Wait until you see Clover's dance. Sophia tells Amber. Yes, answers Amber. But my peacock, Praline, is so pretty, she'll easily win first place. Outside the castle, the princess and princesses groom their pets and work on their tricks. Xandar tosses a ball to his elephant. Look, Mom, Frito is holding James up in the air by his feet. James, be careful, says Queen Miranda. Attention, everyone, the pet show will begin soon. Suddenly, Princess Hildegard rushes in, late as usual, holding her pet mink, Lulu. Wait, she calls. Please fill out this form noting your pet's special ta talent, Bailiwick says. Lulu does gymnastics, like somersaults, Kildy said. But because she's so small, she gets really nervous around crowds. Whoosh. Oh no, Lulu, come back, cries Hildy as she chases after her pet. Whoosh. We should help Hildegard, Sophia tells Clover. You look in the castle and I'll look for them outside. Meanwhile, Hildegard runs through the castle searching for her pet mink. Hildy pauses before an old ornate mirror. Oh no, I'm a mess, Hildy says patting her hair back into place. <laughs> I wish I could understand why Lulu ran away. I would totally win the competition if I were. At that very moment, a mouse scurried past. A mouse! Suddenly, Princess Hildegard turned into a mouse. Oh no, Hildegard squeaked when she sees her reflection. This can't be. I'm so small and everything is so big. Help, she screams in a tiny voice. Squeak, squeak came out. Just then, Clover hops down the hall. His big ears pick up the faint sound of something crying. It's a mouse. Clover asked the mouse, what's wrong? Clover, it's me, Princess Hildegard, the mouse says. Clover can't believe it. What happened, he asked. I don't know, Hildy answers. What should I do? Sophia will know, says Clover. Hop on. They find Sophia in the courtyard looking for Lulu. Hildy is in. Is, Hildy, is it really you? Asked Sophia. Sophia, it's me, Hildegard. I don't know what happened. I was just looking for Lulu and suddenly I became a mouse, replies Hildy Mouse. Do you think someone cast a spell on me? Says Sophia. We need Cedric's help. Sophia leads Hildy and Clover to Cedric's workshop. I know the perfect counterspell, Cedric says. He holds his wand up high, mumbles a few magic words, and poof, eek! But the spell doesn't work. Hildy is still a mouse, except now she is blue. Hildy Mouse is so embarrassed that she runs away.
Hildy Mouse runs out of the castle into the courtyard filled with kids and pets. Look, cries Amber, a mouse. Hildy Mouse is scared. Everyone is so big compared to her. Hildy races across the courtyard and scampers through an open door into the castle where she feels safe. But Hildy ends up in the kitchen where the cook scares her even more. Small creatures are nothing but helpless, thinks Hildy, looking around for the quickest escape. She spots a mouse hole and runs inside. Shoo, shoo. At last, Hildy feels safe. Then she turns to see a family of mice behind her, giving her a funny look. I am not a mouse, cries Hildy. I am a princess. Just as Hildy Mouse stepped outside the mouse hole and sees Sophia and Clover, Lulu finds them. Oh, Lulu, thank goodness you're back. Now I know being small is no fun when everyone is bigger than you, says Hildy Mouse. Hildy, what happened right before you became a mouse? asked Sophia. I was in the hallway, Hildy recalls. A mouse ran past me and I screamed. Then I turned into a mouse. Clover speaks up. Can you show us where it happened? Certainly, replied Hildy Mouse. It was in this spot, says Hildy Mouse. The magic mirror, gasped Sophia. Hildy, you were standing right in front of it. That's what turned me into a mouse, asked Hildy. Make a wish and we'll find out, says Sophia. Magic mirror, turn me back into a princess again, says Hildy. With a poof, a swirling cloud covers Hildy Mouse and leaves Princess Hildegard in her place. Oh, thank goodness, I'm back, says Hildegard. I thought I would be a blue mouse for good. Outside the castle, Bailiwick is waiting. Princess Hildegard, where have you been? He asks. I'm sorry. The talent sign-ups are closed. Does that mean we can't be in the show? Hildegard asks sadly. I'm afraid so, says Bailiwick. It wouldn't be fair to the others. Okay, let's go home, Lulu, Hildy says. Wait, says Sophia. They can't take our spot. They can take our spot. Are you sure, Princess Sophia, says Bailiwick? Sophia and Clover nod. Yes, we're sure. We're really sure, she says. Lulu says, Hildy, we'll do this together. You'll be great. Good luck, Sophia tells Hildy. Lulu leaps high and passes through a hoop. The audience applauses wildly. The audience applauses wildly. After the talent show, Bailiwick announces the winners. First place goes to Princess Hildegard and Lulu. Sophia and Clover can't be happier. Neither can Hildegard and Lulu, who now know that even when you're small, you can do great things. Sophia and Clover can't be happier. Neither can Hildegard and Lulu, who now know that even when you're small, you can do great things. The end, boys and girls, of Sophia the First, a royal mouse in the house. Boys and girls, I chose this Sophia the First story because I am a huge fan of Sophia the First, and so is my daughter. Even though she's older, she still loves watching it. And I think it's because Sophia the First, even though she is royalty. She happens to be a really caring, 
sweet girl who never misuses her power and she always treats people with great respect and I think that's what we love so much about her she's just Sophia even though she's Sophia the first and she's royalty the way she treats us always makes us feel like royalty so here is my Sophia the first teacup to go with my book Sophia the first and here also is my Sophia the first crown what do you think boys and girls do you like it I absolutely love crowns since I was a little girl and I especially like the wave that goes with it I think they call that the pageant wave so it's a combination of the pageant wave and when I hold my books out it's also a combination like Vanna White on Wheel of Fortune so I've been called the Vanna White pageant girl of books. Some of my kids do call me that because they say when I'm reading, it's almost like I'm a princess and I'm Vanna White, which I would have to say is a great combination and I'm honored to be mentioned in those two categories. But it is Miss Reynolds with Board, better off reading every day and it has been my pleasure to bring this story to you boys and girls i hope that you are having a great day and i hope that you are treating everyone with respect like royalty because that's what it's all about treating each other with respect you show it you give it you get it it comes right back to you bye